those who make peaceful revolution impossible will make violent revolution inevitable. I wonder if JFK was thinking about anime cat girls when he said that. Despite the world of Remnant being home to a plethora of magical beings, the Faunus were subject to discrimination from humanity. That's so dumb! How can humans be racist against Faunus? Aside from looking slightly different, they're basically exactly the same- Oh. I get it. For most of her youth, Blake Belladonna worked with the Faunus activist organization, the White Fang. But when her parents expressed concern at its growing violent tactics, she ran away to join them fully. Yeah, Ginger Kylo Ren's influence was making it all cat girl supremacist-y. Believing the Faunus deserved to rule the world instead of humans, Adam Taurus turned the White Fang into a terrorist organization, with the young, impressionable Blake in tow. Now Blake got to put her superhuman Faunus abilities to the test as a gorilla fighter. She's not a gorilla, Wiz. She's clearly a cat. You dingus. That's not what As I- As a clearly cat Faunus, Blake's got superhuman strength, speed, and endurance. She can see in the dark and even pick up on sounds regular humans can't hear. Blake has also unlocked her aura, the manifestation of one's soul. Similar to the Eastern concept of Chi, Blake can use her aura to passively withstand intense damage. Though if it's overtaxed, she will be as defenseless as any ordinary human. Her aura survived this huge flying monster called a Nevermore crashing into her. Twice! Measuring the size of the Nevermore compared to the stone structure it shattered, we can gauge it had to have fragmented over 2,000 cubic meters of rock. That means Blake's aura ate over four tons of TNT without even breaking. I guess you could say she, no, sold it. Eh? Eh? Don't try that again, or I'm gonna have to cut you with a sword as sharp as Gamble Shroud! It's everything you could ever want in a sick anime combo weapon! Part katana, part kasurigama, and it wouldn't be ruby if it wasn't part gun! Hell, its sheath is a sword too! That's just showing off, and I like it. Whereas my shotgun leg needs a sick anime combo weapon upgrade too! I'm thinking nunchucks, lightsaber, portable nuclear device, and maybe DVD player for when I'm bored. That sound, uh, doable? Uh, how about I just grow you, like, a real leg? I, I can do that, you know. <laughs> Wiz, if I wanted a normal human leg, would I have gone through the trouble of cutting mine off? Oh, that makes sense. Wait, what? Well, come back in a few days when we cover Blake's opponent, Mikasa Ackerman from Attack on Titan, and maybe Wiz will have my badass new leg done.